Um, Madam Chair, I would like to call up my amendment to repeal mandatory country of origin labeling. Uh, this amendment would repeal coal for livestock and poultry. Regardless of the merits of the idea, we have bitten off more than we can chew. Now we face the prospect of up to $2 billion in retaliation from Canada and Mexico. But the significant piece of this, Madam Chair, is that Canada and Mexico are two of our biggest trading partners in agriculture. The proposed solution from USDA would be even more of a burden for everyone across the value chain. Instead of labeling meat product of the U.S. and Canada, now we would have to say born and raised in the U.S. and slaughtered in Canada. And you can't even commingle meat from animals that don't fit that exact combination. Talk about a regulatory nightmare. Even if the WTO somehow determines that this doesn't cause discrimination against Canadian and Mexican cattle, it's poor policy. If consumers want cattlemen and other livestock producers to incur the expense of tracking the movements of their animals, there are ways to do that in the marketplace that don't require a federal mandate. Now, I recognize there's a difference of opinion in this committee on repealing cool at this time, so I will not ask for a roll call vote. However, I hope we can resolve this issue before some of our largest trading partners retaliate against our exports. Madam Chair, with that, I withdraw the amendment. Thank you very much. We look forward to working with you on it. You've raised some important issues. Madam Chair. Yes, Senator. If I could just Graham. comment on that. Uh, the, Senator Johans has brought up really an excellent point. And, and um, I go back to uh, uh, then Chairman Roberts and mine days in the House when his ranking member, Charlie Stenholm, used to give the example that I've used over and over of when it comes to labeling where a meat product comes from, if the cow, uh, if the slaughtered um, animal was raised in Georgia but was the product of a, a uh, heifer that was born in Canada and was sent to Georgia and was artificially inseminated by a bull from Mexico, where is the country of origin? This is the most confusing issue that I have ever seen in all of my years on the Ag Committee, and I hope maybe Senator Johans will think about bringing this up on the floor and see if we can't figure out a way to resolve this, because it is confusing. It's, going to, it's causing us problems now with our Mexican and Canadian partners. Thank you very much.